So, what I'm going to be going over soon is uh, just a standard 4231 in the game of soccer, football, whatever you want to call it. How I coach it, how I'm going to be teaching it, and tips and tricks about it. Just general pointers. It's not going to be a full in-depth overview of it. I mean, 10, 15 minute tops. Um, how I coach it, and then throw it over to YouTube and go from there. So, without further ado, um, it's time. It's time for YouTube video. It's time for new content. This is a 4231 oversimplified, 451, whatever you want to call it. Um, I always do it with the two holding midfielders. Um, and then yeah, like this. I'm not a big fan. So if you guys, just for reference, I'm currently coaching uh, kids that just entered 11 v 11 for the first time. Uh, so that's what, 2010s. So you 13? Yeah. So two 13 year old, you 13 boys, uh, they're just learning it for the first time. So I figured teaching this, um, I prefer teaching this over a 442 because it's more dynamic as they get older than a 442 and it's a little bit safer to play in terms of defending and whatnot so um i'll start with the overall general description of how the players are going to be and their responsibilities and roles so obviously you have a goalkeeper and then the two center backs just standard center backs nothing too special but they need to be able to play out of the back um play out to the outside backs and stuff like that play through the lines and in play so their, their feet have to be good um i will not be doing stop or sweeper at all uh it's just makes no sense so uh outside backs will be going up and down um i already told the kids these if you like running uh this will be your favorite position so outside backs two holding mids i like the two holding mid dynamic um there's not one six like i'm not doing that type of thing uh they will learn to one go and one stay just learning the balance together attacking mid kind of floats uh outside mids can pinch in or go wide depending on what the game calls for we'll go over that as time goes on and then you have a normal uh, you have a hold up striker um not some again i already talked to them we're not going to be ones that just kind of running behind all game it's going to be mainly can you play through the lines maybe take up a space here and get a ball you know from here and then everyone joins it so but uh yeah, that's a general overview of the four two three one for me um offensively very dynamic in terms of interplay so that's kind of what we worked on today so you're gonna have a lot of building out of the back which gives us a lot of triangles is what i told them so the general shape of a four two three one is triangles everywhere so you triangle between these three triangle between these three here you can see they're just everywhere on the field right like even this one i know it's a square so if you draw a line in between double triangle right so are these lines I don't know what those are. Oh. Oh, hot damn. Okay, look at that. You learned something new. Uh, can I delete that though? Oh. Yeah, there is a remover. All right. Perfect. So, yeah, this is general 4231. Now, building out of the back is very simple. For me, it's going to be some sort of... I'm curious if I can get this animation thing to work. Create an animation. Oh, man. I got to reset. Yikes. All right. Let me get this set up really quick. Mm -hmm. All right. So a couple of things. Building on the back again is super simple. Because you have this balance between the holding mids, you should never really get caught out by a forward in between. Be able to play through. So just like today, I was kind of working on... I'm curious how this... No movements for animation. Hmm. Oh, this is frame one. Frame two. Nice. This is cool. Oh, this is awesome. Perfect. Um, yeah. So again, the animation and stuff. This is what you're just kind of allowed to do in the course of with this system. You know, just kind of move it around um, as that kind of shifting in here, right? You know, shifting across shifting in shifting out um and generally that's what that's kind of your build up right it's gonna be and then when you're ready to go it could be something like that into yeah into that into here this guy can start running 
long ball in there vice versa so kind of why i like the balance for the four two three one um it's very simple system to teach in my opinion it gives you a lot of balance gives you a lot of coverage if people in here are willing to work hard so curious what this looks like let's see what it looks like oh look at that <laughs> fantastic so yeah this would be like a, a typical build out something like this maybe and yeah and that's why i like it um it teaches them the basics of the game good spacing Lear they start learning to play these longer passes on the ground up through the lines not everything's in the air teaches them side to side movements three not rather than everything up and forward so this is the main reason i like the four two three one over a couple of the other styles now i do know that a lot of people are like oh what about some other things like a four three three or four four two well my thing is um a lot of these systems etc you know they they can all be kind of taught within the same thing so for example a 442 is just that you just kind of take this guy up and put him next to each other a 433 is you push these wingers higher and these guys come out a little bit wider um the main reason i don't like to teach a 433 is if you've seen my other youtube videos 433 oversimplified how to beat it uh at this age i think it's too difficult for outside backs to do it so it creates a uh, very uh, the thinking for this guy and this guy against most teams that are running 442 or 4231 will be able to exploit it easier than you could teach you to defend so that's why i don't think it's a good thing to teach at this moment so um but yeah so 4231 exactly so now defensive shape um i kind of set up where it's kind of forced it to one way and force it into kind of pockets of space it's kind of how i was taught how to play it and how we're going to learn it as well or they're going to learn it so usually what we do let's just say the other teams run in a similar formation or if they're even playing a 442 because you probably will run into a 442 a little bit more often um, it'll kind of look like this for pressing so i get to go make another animation oh baby so let's Let's see how I reset this. Mm. Clear board, new animation. Perfect. All right. So got to make them first. Uh, I wish I would just like uh, pre-place all these, you know, but that's okay. We're making a new animation anyways. This is cool. This, I don't know why there's not more websites like this. This is cool. I'm really glad that someone took the time to do this or whatever and build something like this. But then again, like, uh, yeah, well... I guess if you could do it on a mobile device, it would make a lot of sense. Alrighty, so defending in this shape, it's probably going to look kind of like this. Let's say they're pushed up a little bit higher. All right. Get their goalkeeper. Let's say they take a goal kick, right? Or they're about to. Let's say they're on this side, right? So it's going to kind of look like this, most likely, if they're not just hitting everything long, right? So the way I explained it is, it's going to kind of look like this. So this is frame one. So they're going to play out, right? Right to here. Now, my forward's first job is to cut away this passing line so they can't switch the field through the center backs, right? Now, I've also explained you don't want to do this too high all the way up here. It needs to be back down here and if it can't be too low otherwise you're just going to be running like this all game so something like right about there you just start going now this center back's going to make a decision and that decision is he's probably going to move it onto this foot and then take it into space over here and that's what i told him that's your key to go and keep it here right his job is to just kind of wall that off right so yeah that's all taken care of by him by that line right so now every that's kind of the key like the trigger like for everybody else to also go now what's probably going to end up happening is this guy's going to probably slide out to here right this guy can start going this guy's going to either check in or out that's a key for this guy to step this is when he the attacking mid steps out here i told my center backs and the midfielders this is when they have to be talking the most uh, let's say they have two up top, right? This guy's going to go here. This guy's going to go here. They have to handle this like this, 
right? This guy tucks into here, slides in, slides in, slides in, right? And there you go. And that's generally how the press starts. So if the ball comes into here, this is a collapse down, double team in here. Um, if we can win the ball back, they're great. Um, say they break it, right? Say they somehow go here. You know, we have this guy to step down. There's two there to double team, uh, right? So if it comes out, slide back, slide back in. This guy can start stepping. This, these guys are already touched tight, right? This guy starts running, track with them, all that, all that stuff. So basically what we're trying to do is this pocket here is a big place to win the ball and it'd be the same si thing on that side um not necessarily always the sideline because you can double team into these if you win the ball in these positions and go forward that's a win that's a win that's what you want so so yeah again this is kind of what the pressing looks like forward is going to kind of get there and wall that off right then everyone kind of shifts to the nearest guy right don't have to go all the way you just have to get close to him that way that this ball does get played in you can immediately start stepping to it right another double team example and yeah so that's that's just a general four two three one that's how you defend it it works both ways there's obviously different ways to handle like different things um let's say we go backwards a little bit let's go let's just start kind of over right all right so let's say it goes the other way just for s's and g's he goes here this guy starts going a little bit and let's just say this guy starts going right this ball slides out this guy comes comes tighter comes tighter this guy slides here right and this guy starts going well this guy's got a step and then this guy's already sliding over here this guy's sliding over sliding in the center back's got to defend right this guy runs in behind and they just hit a long ball yeah let that guy do that track into here slide down cover cover right so there's tons of people i mean like i said you already have generally six back for the long balls if your balance is correct so and that's how you deal with the long balls there you go and that's it that that's the simple stuff and then basically what comes down to next is just you just start teach what i'm going over now is the fundamentals over again right can my players because they're so used to basically in a field that's usually half this size so now can they hit you know 15 20 yard 30 yard balls on the ground rather than you know only 10 yard balls because the shape kind of helps you do everything yourself right so yeah and that's it and that's the four two three one um pretty simple not to uh pretty simple not too much to it really there um I could go into a more in-depth video for just attacking or just defending in terms of body shape and stuff like that, but this is just more of like an overview of general tendencies of each player, how the general attack is going to look, how generally defending is going to look, and how I coach it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I still not used to doing that yet, so.